the hedgehog and the bee. Once upon a time, there was a worker bee. She'd been flying for miles, and she needed a wee. <laughs> After all, she'd been flying for hours, collecting pollen and nectar from the farmer's flowers. Beatrice the bee was having a good day, until the farmer used his neo nick spray. Dazed and confused, Bee no longer wanted to play. She was lost and couldn't find her way. Down she flew to a bush that was soggy and fell into the path of a startled hedgehoggy. Oh, it's just a bee. Hello, I'm Spike. Are you all right? Oh, hi, I'm Beatrice. No, not really. Look, I have a Varroa mite. Oh no, I have one like that too. Can you see it? It's a tick. And if I don't get rid of it soon, it's going to make me sick. So the hedgehog used his spike and the bee used her stinger. Upon them, those critters would no longer linger. Yeah! So where are you from, Beatrice? You sound funny. I'm from Denmark. Although I don't really sound like it, said Bee. And I'm great at making honey. I came with the queen and nine other worker bees to work here and make the best honey in Leeds. What happened to your leg, Spike? Asked the bee. Oh, a man cut it off with a strimmer, you see. <laughs> he found me the next day and saw what he'd done and quickly ran to get help with his son. They brought me some food and a bandage for my leg. But I can't have milk and mealworms, the hedgehog said. I don't mean to pick, but milk makes me sick. Mealworms are also bad for my tongue. They stop me from absorbing calcium. I prefer cat food with smaller chunks in my dish. And please don't give me anything fish. And if you see me out in the light, then I'm probably not all right. So if I'm sat there in the middle of the day, get me warm and to the vet straight away. Oh, poor hedgehog. I've got problems too. It's a hornet from Asia and I don't know what to do. If they find my hive, we'll all be done for. They'll eat us all up. Take our babies and more! Oh no! I really hope that isn't true. I'm so scared. I need to do a poo. Is that something you ever do? Yes, uh, but ours is called a cleansing flight. Uh, and we can't do it late at night. I'm cold-blooded, so the temperature must be just right when I'm out of the hive and in flight. Most of my family are gone now, Bee. Most got squished by cars near that tree. And a badger, he took my sister Prickle. I tried to help, but he knocked me over like a skittle. Well, maybe my queen can help. She's the boss. She said we are all suffering from habitat loss. The way humans treat the world is demented. And Hedgehog, your feeding grounds have been fragmented. Your life will never be complete, blocked by fences and concrete. Oh, Bee, we are short on powers. By here you'd feel better if people grew more flowers. Yes, that would be a good start. Let's hope all the humans at home will take part. Then Spike and Bee heard music echoing through the trees. It was a song by Benefer's Bees. You can make a difference, yeah, you got the power. To get your ass out of bed and start growing some flower. Who are you? Tell me, please. My name's Pete. I keep bees. I always treat them for Varroa. They ain't got no disease. Climb on, Bee. Poor Spike shouted. But what about me? Don't worry, I'm taking you to a sanctuary. It's a rescue centre called Herbie, near me. Benefits Bees. Find our Facebook page now and like it. Like it real good. Instagram be my benefit.